Hello everybody. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the Filofax Lockwood Personal. Um, this is the closest I found to a perfectly uh, designed organizer. Uh, I've been using this one now, this is my third year, and many people in the community will know that uh, we have a tendency as users, as Firefox users or organizers, organizer users, to switch constantly between sizes and designs. Um, this one I think has been designed so well, I find very difficult to criticize it. And the fact that I'm using it, I've been using it for three years, um, tells me that uh, this really fits my use case and that the design is really very good. Uh, sorry about the wobbly camera, my cat has just decided she's gonna join in. Uh, so I hope when she gets down, uh, things will settle. Um, <clears throat> so this is a Lockwood Personal. It's made of leather, the color is cognac. It has a closing clasp. These are also available with a zip. Its current price is 170 euros. Its size is 13 centimeters wide, 19 centimeters tall, and 40, uh, four, sorry, four centimeters in depth. The ring size is 2.3 centimeters or 23 millimeters. This is what I call a fat organizer. I distinguish between fats and thin organizers. Um, Kat's now decided she's going to move the camera. Um, fat organizers are those which have larger rings, many pockets, so they're designed to take as much with you as possible, but inevitably, inevitably that means they're heavier, less portable. Then they have, they have thin organizers which have fewer pockets, uh, smaller rings, lighter, easier to take with you. And there she is. Move, darling, thank you. Um, I think she adds to the value of the uh, video, so there we are. Um, so this is what I would call a fat organizer, but because it has clever design, it's not as large as I would expect a fat organizer to be. So if we take, for example, this um, compact Finsbury, which only has 15 millimeter rings, uh, it's actually not very much larger than the Lockwood. I have done this video once already, but that was ruined because the sound was on, on my phone and I was picking up all of these email messages. So uh, I noticed that you couldn't see a thing here. I hope you can see better now, but if you can't, maybe this makes it more obvious that the actual width of the Lockwood is actually not very much bigger than the um, that of the uh, Finsbury and I think that's because again because of good design um, two things first of all there is the zip pocket the Lockwood has a zip pocket it is not on the inside if you have a zip pocket on the inside you have to have space to put the zip pocket in and here you don't need that extra space secondly the um, pen loop is on the outside. Again, if you have the pen loop on the inside, you have to have at least a centimeter more space, uh, a centimeter extra width to accommodate the pen. Uh, that's not required here because the pen loop is on the outside. So for a fat organizer, this is remarkably compact. Starting from the outside, we have two outside pockets, which are fantastically useful. I don't know why more organizers don't have outside pockets. If anybody knows of companies that produce organizers with outside pockets, let me know. I'd be very interested to check them out because they are incredibly useful. Obviously, they're less secure than having information inside, but if you're putting things in there which you need to have to hand, like your tickets, your receipts, or voting cards, or whatever, this open pocket means you can slip things in and out and also it doesn't matter about the size of the paper because it doesn't have to fit exactly this size, it can stick out. If you want more security, then on the back there's this 
zip pockets. And as I said, having a zip on the outside means uh, not only do you save space, but also um, you make the writing surface on the inside smoother. So if you have a organizer with a zip on the inside, like this Finsbury, the first thing is if you put anything inside this pocket, you create a bumpy surface upon which to write. And that obviously, I mean, for me personally, this is a no-no. I, I hate having anything, a lumpy surface to write on. That's the first thing. And the second thing is having the zip inside. When you close this, uh, you'll see that the paper will start nibbling on the zip. And I find from experience that the paper in the Finsbury gets chunks eaten out of the top because of the constant wear and rubbing against the zip. Having the zip on the outside in the lockwood means you don't have this problem. Um, so two outside pockets. Um, let me just check. Right, so I think that's a superb design choice. Inside on the left we have four card pockets. Uh, you have a split here, but there's actually this is actually sewn closed, so you, there's no pocket here. But you have the four card pockets and you have a long um, top to bottom pocket here. In my opinion, these are pointing in the right direction. I prefer pockets that point inwards, face inwards, because my feeling is if anything falls out of them, which doesn't happen very often, it falls into the organizer and not out of the organizer. And the second point, and again, I like this as the design feature, um, this would, if you are left-handed, this would provide you with a very lumpy surface to write on. The back of the Lockwood has a fairly smooth surface for right-handed people to write on. There is a pocket, this here, and this here are not sewn closed. So they did, we, uh, my mistake that this bottom pocket is not closed, not so enclosed, the top one is, and there's also a top to bottom pocket here, but this gives you a fairly smooth surface to write on. Incidentally, I never trust um, writing on the surface of a organizer, so I always have a thick card as my last um, insert in the organizer so that I will be leaning on that as I write. But the fact that everything points in the same direction, inwards, means that this is actually a reversible organizer. So if I'm left-handed and I want to write here and I don't like this surface, I can reverse this organizer and the pockets still face inwards. No, there's nothing's changed. The only irritant would be that the writing and the, emboss, the embossed Final Fact symbol on the spine are upside down. But I think that this means that this is basically a, another good design decision, makes it much more usable, much more useful. Um, the pen loop is elastic, it's on the outside. Um, this is a good pen loop if your pen is about one centimeter in diameter. So this pen is one centimeter in diameter. It fits perfectly, it's not gonna fall out, but I can get it in and out with no problem. If you have a thinner pen or you use a pencil, for example, like this, which is eight millimeters, it'll simply fall out. It's too, it's too, uh, too large. Um, that is a, the only criticism, criticism I have. It doesn't matter to me because I don't use thin pens, but that is something to consider if you do. Um, the Lockwood lies open and it lies flat. And let me explain the difference because I've, I've had some discussions with people online who have not had the same understanding of these terms as I do. So it lies open when you open it like now and you don't have to hold it open. If I look, for example, of this pocket Finchley 
and I open it, it flops closed. I would have to train this to stay open. Okay, so this does not lie open. The lock would does lie open. Um, it lies flat in terms of find it, lies flat, meaning that the writing surface is almost exactly flat. It's not entirely flat. If I put a spirit level on here, you'll notice it was very slightly off. But it's for all intents and purposes, the writing surface is flat. Uh, so it lies flat. Uh, if you compare something like the clip book, the clip book lies open. It doesn't spring back, but it does not lie flat because there has to be space for this spine. So I, so this is flat, but this side slopes down. You could have it the other way, depending on how you want to put the spine. So this is now flat. This side slopes down, or you could have it so that both sides slope, slope down, but you can never have it so that both sides are flat. So the clip book lies open, but it does not lie flat. Um, like virtually every other organizer, which is leather and has a fixed ring system, the lockwood does not fold back on itself. This is as I would expect it. I'm just mentioning this in case this is a question. If you were to take something like the Staples Arc, which is the disc system, you can fold it back on itself and it is completely flat and completely open. This is something you can't generally do with a ring bound system. So that's the Lockwood, personal. As I said, I'm very happy with this. It's working for me. I hope you found this useful. Any questions or comments, of course, please feel free to leave them below. Take care. Thanks.